Disclaimer. The following content may contain crude language, viruses, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes, but not suitable for children, and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man up. If you like my videos, if you find them interesting, if you want to share the content, if you want everybody to know what I'm talking about, whether you agree or disagree, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, coming from your boy, man up. Thanks for watching. What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man up. I got one more video for you today. I was sent this article because a lot of my videos and a lot of things that people watch and hear and all that good stuff, thinking that you got to be millionaires just to make it in certain states or certain county cities or whatever, which is not true. There are a lot of states to where you are, you can make it, be successful, just making 100000 or 150000 a year. As long as you're smart with your money. That's all that matters, that you're smart with your money. Because I always tell people, it's not re really so much how much money you make. It's being smart with the money that you make. And that can go into a whole bunch of different factors, like the kind of car you drive, the place you live, the clothes you buy, the food you buy, uh, uh, all the materialistic stuff that we like in this world, uh, things like that. Now, I'm, I'm not going to get into everything because that would be a whole other video. But when I was sent this and I was reading it, so many states – you can be, you can make maybe two hundred thousand and be okay. Some states one hundred and ten thousand and be okay. You know, it just depends on that particular state. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Cause, see, what a lot of people don't understand is, if you are making it in New York. A lot of people think that you, oh, New York, New York is so expensive. You got to uh, at least make four, five hundred thousand a year, which is not true. You can make around one hundred and fifty thousand and be okay. Like I said, a lot of times it's being smart with your money, and like I said, that goes into whole different factors. People that's around you, uh, uh. If you're having kids and you know you can't afford to take care of all them kids, uh, 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 trying, you know, places you go to eat or things that you cook at home to eat, you know, whatever the like I said, that's a whole different story, a whole different subject. I just, I guess you could say, excuse me, but the uh, uh, one thing that I, I try to tell people, I make, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not even finna sit here and lie and say I am. But I make pretty decent money, me and my wife, to where we can have a nice home. We can have multiple cars. My daughter's not wanting for anything. Uh, we are not wanting for anything. We work. We, You know what I'm saying? We're smart with our money. We invest. We uh, save. We plan for the future. Things like that. That's what I try to tell a lot of people. But because the world these days, are, people are so focused on what they see on TV or what they see on social media, they're thinking that they have to compete with all that when it's not true. So we're going to go ahead and get into this article. And you're going to see to where certain places, if you make a certain amount of money, you'll be okay. Like I, like me, I'm from Texas. So I know if I make like a good 150000 a year, as long as I'm okay, I'm doing smart, but with my money, I'm okay. As long as I know that that I'm not out here spending, trying to act like I'm big balling, I'm all right. I have a nice roof over my head. I have a nice car. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Be able to eat just fine, all that stuff. But a lot of people don't think about these things. They want to go and get the most expensive car to try to show out. They want to get this big old house knowing they can't afford it. Uh, they People are uh, uh, going buy all this jewelry trying to show out. Uh, Y'all youngsters like to say these days you're trying to flex on someone, which I think is stupid, but whatever. Um, you know, whatever. You know, so it's just that I know growing up in Texas, I'm from, you know, growing up in Houston, Texas, I know 
that, yeah, it, it is a glamorous lifestyle in Houston. But if you remain uh, strong and steadfast in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in life, you'll get there. You'll get there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, here go a map right here telling everybody basically how much you you can make and be okay. It says, Illinois, for example, you need an income of at least 627000 See, here go Connecticut, 896000 Massachusetts, 810000 New York, 777000 New Jersey, 716, California, 745. In, in, in West Virginia, 350. Mississippi, 361. See, places like that. You see, y'all, y'all can see this. In Washington, D.C., the highest earner is 918,000 a year. That's not a million dollars a year. Close. <laughs> but it's not a million. So you don't have to uh, make a whole lot of money to survive in this country. You see what I'm saying? You can make you about 200000 a, a year and you'll be okay. As long as you be smart with your money. Like I know growing up in Hawaii, well, I'm sorry, not growing up because I did not grow up in Hawaii. But I know, <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. But I know um, Hawaii is the highest state to live in. And that's because everything is imported to Hawaii. So you're going to be paying for that. So a lot of people that live in Hawaii, I know a lot of them from, uh, because I met a lot of people that's from Hawaii or that has lived there, says that, they had to live like they were dirt poor, even though they wasn't, because they just never knew what was going to end up happening, because uh, of, of the uh, how how expensive it is to live in Hawaii. So I'm saying, in Boston, for example, the lowest income required to be considered rich, a hundred and fifty nine thousand, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, an income of a hundred and six thousand makes you rich. See, so you see that? You don't need a lot of money. And let me scroll back to the top here. I want y'all to stay right here. Though I'm going to scroll back to the top. I want y'all to read this. Look at this map. It's telling you. You don't need a lot of money to survive on this earth. We need to get out this mind frame of watching all these celebrities, these athletes, these music stars, these uh, movie stars and all of them thinking that you need to be millionaires and billionaires to make it on this earth. No, you don't. No, you don't. You need to be happy with what you're making and be and be smart with what you're making. Because that, that <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Because if we can do that, there's no way that any of us can be poor. Especially when the uh, 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 COVID hit, all these places were hiring. You could have got you two, three jobs if you wanted. And so, let me go ahead and get back to the top here. How much? Here's how much money you need to be in the top one percent in Colorado. Well, I don't know about Colorado, but I, like I said, I know in Texas, if you could make about a hundred and fifty thousand. Maybe two hundred fifty thousand, you'll be okay. Yeah, I'm, so it's just it just loans you smart with your money. With all that being said, this is your boy, man. Up, I'm talking to Deuce. I holler at you.